If you guys want the best of luck in your entire life, drop a like on this video and I will send an invisible unicorn to your house. Anyways, guys, man, welcome back to another top five video, man. This video is going to consist of probably my favorite weapons in the game, all but one of them. Actually, one of them on this list I don't like much, but it's really good and I can't deny it. So I threw it on the list anyways, made a good class for it, and you guys are going to check it out. But this top five is really good. The only weapon missing is the MP5 because that gun is so damn good, but these five weapons are really good you guys got to use them and let's just get straight into it what is up guys my name is nick and welcome back to another modern warfare top five man this one's gonna be a good one i promise you guys if we could drop a like like i said earlier subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and let me know your favorite weapon down in the comments below i want to see what people like or if people just go after the meta and stuff like that i don't know man i feel like everyone's just gonna be like oh dude the gras is the best but it ain't but it is but it ain't but it is but anyways let's get on to the top five guys the first weapon on this list might come as a little shock to you but you really gotta use this weapon it's really damn good Good. and I promise you guys this gun is going to change the way you play with SMGs and that is the PP19 and some of you guys might be looking at me like why would the PP19 be on a top five guys it's it's really really good so trust me make this class right here the first thing you want to run is the barrel 8.7 inch steel and this is a really good barrel man it gives you damage range bullet velocity and recoil control all those three and you only lose ADS speed and movement speed which we're gonna go ahead and get right back with the next few attachments which the next one is going to be the laser tack laser this gives you aiming stability aim walking steadiness and the only thing that's negative about this is the fact that your laser is visible when aiming on sights and it also gives you ads speed so that's a positive as well the next attachment for this one is going to be the stock and that is the no stock like i said man we got to get some of that movement speed back and this stock gives it to you and it gives you some ads as well but it does take away aiming stability and it does take away recoil control but you guys know man aiming stability it doesn't matter the second you start shooting your weapon aiming stability stops kicking in and you don't have to worry about that the next one the ammunition is going to be the 84 round helical mags this means you barely got to reload your gun it's an smg that holds 84 rounds and it's still very very light i'll take it man that's a really good ammunition to run and the rear grip is going to be the stippled grip tape you want that ads speed but more importantly you want that sprint to fire speed now it does take away some aiming stability but it's all good you don't have to worry about that now guys quickly before we get on to the next gun i just want to say dude like a lot of people are always asking me nick how's your color so nice how's your game looking so beautiful and stuff well i just want to say like ever since ben q sent me this monitor here i've never really shown you guys but this is the monitor they sent me it's the ex 2780q and I, I just love it it's the best monitor i've ever had in my life like it's 27 inches so that's a little on the big side i wasn't too pleased with that but it doesn't feel like it when you're playing that man it has hdri so it gives you vivid colors nice saturation all that kind of stuff it's set to 144 hertz which when i play on playstation that doesn't matter but when I'm playing on PC, there is a huge, huge difference. And I feel like 144 hertz, like that's what is what people should be playing with at all times. But that's not it, man. It also has built in speakers, 2.1 speakers. So if you guys are actually playing and you don't have a headset and stuff, these are like really damn good if you're playing games and whatnot. And the max res resolution is 2560 by 1440 at 144 hertz. I mean, like that is really, really nice. Like this speaker is great. But the guys, if you want to check out this monitor, I'm going to leave links down in the description below to give you like point you guys right to the actual website where a uh, benq has all this stuff you guys could check it out greatest monitor i ever had yeah man check it out get this monitor if you guys like it and uh let's get on to the next weapon on this list man the next weapon is going to be one that i really this is the one i don't like much and that is the fennec and the reason i don't like this is not because like it's bad or anything it's a really good gun it's really amazing i know a lot of you guys like it but i just feel like it shoots way too fast for the damage it gives off like it, you feel like it, you need all all 25 bullets just to kill someone and i feel like going for long range which is not what this gun is made for it just sucks at that and then i also feel like i shoot first and die first with this gun but let's get into this class because this is the best one i was able to make for it so the barrel is the zlr 18 inch deadfall this gives you damage range recoil control bullet velocity and sound suppression that is four advantages right there and recoil control damage range sound suppression they're all great they're all good ones that you want then it only takes away ads speed and movement speed which this is a very light gun you don't have to worry about that the next one is the laser and that's going to be the tack laser this gives you ads speed it gives you aiming stability and it gives you 
you aim, walk, and steadiness. And the only thing is that the laser is visible when aiming on sights. After that, you're going to want to throw on the stock, which is the Forge Tac CQS. And this one, a lot of people might be like, well, why are you running that stock? It only gives you ADS. And I feel like that's fine with me because it only takes away aiming stability as well, which I don't mind. And I'm getting that ADS advantage, which is really nice. The under barrel is going to be the Ranger foregrip for that recoil control and that aiming stability. And uh, you do lose aim, walk, and movement speed and some ADS once again. And then for the last attachment, this one is super optional. You guys could either choose to run the ammunition 40 round drum mags, or you could choose to run the rear grip stippled grip tape to get some ADS and sprint to fire speed back, which I think sprint to fire speed on all guns in the game, this is where it's really needed the most. Down to number three, we got another new weapon. I want to get the new weapons out of the way first, and that is the CR-56 Amex. The barrel you want to run for this is the FSS 8.3 inch intruder. I love this one because it gives you ADS speed and it gives you movement speed. And this is a multiplayer class. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. I gave you guys this class yesterday. So if you already saw it, don't worry. I'm just going to go through it really quickly here for those of you who haven't. It does take away bullet velocity and recoil control, but this gun is like the growl, dude. You don't have to worry about that. The optic is the GI Mini Reflex. Yes, I decided to choose an optic. I know that the iron sight is really nice, but I still feel like using it. I don't know why, man. The stock is the FSS Close Quarter Stock. This gives you, again, only ADS speed, which I'm fine with. The under barrel is the Merc foregrip, so you get that recoil control, and you get beautiful hip fire accuracy, which I think is really nice. Then it does take away some aim, walk, and movement speed, and some ADS. The rear grip is the XRK CR56 stippled wrap, which is pretty much stippled grip tape. That's all it is with a fancy name, and it gives you ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, which I think is really nice. Now, number two on this list is the M4A1, and I've given you guys a lot of M4A1 classes, but this is one that I recently started using again, and I haven't used this class for like five months, but it's really damn good, man. So the barrel is the stock M16 Grenadier. This gives you damage range, this gives you bullet velocity, and this gives you recoil control. Really nice to have. Again, it does take away ADS speed and movement speed, but we're gonna throw on some attachments to get that back. The laser is the TAC laser. You get ADS speed, aiming stability, and aim walk and steadiness, and I feel like, dude, come on, it's the TAC laser. You gotta use it. The next one is going to be the stock, and that's no stock. And this is where I said we're getting that movement speed back, and we're getting that ADS speed back because I feel like it's really needed on this re weapon right here. Now you are losing aiming stability and you are losing recoil control, which on the M4A1, it doesn't have a really good recoil control compared to the Grau, but it's not bad. So it doesn't matter if you lose a little bit of that. So that, that's something I wouldn't really worry about. The under barrel is going to be the Ranger foregrip. So we could get that recoil control back and we do get aiming stability, which aiming stability to me, it's, I don't care for it. I really don't. Like it's pretty much when you aim down sight it's the sway of your weapon the way it moves while you're idle like it, it doesn't really bother me that and you do lose more ADS speed and aim walk movement speed with this but it's worth it to have that recoil control and I guess that aiming stability now the rear grip if you guys know me it's the stippled grip tape <laughs> like I don't think I have to tell you guys you already know what it does it gives you that ADS and that sprint to fire which is super nice now let's get on to the last weapon on this list at the number one spot guys we're gonna be talking about the growl and this is a really nice weapon Weapon. Now, this one, I'm going to tell you right now, there's only one change in order to make it work for uh, Warzone or anything like that. So the first attachment you want to run, whether you're playing Warzone or whether you're playing uh, multiplayer, is the Tempest 26.4 inch Archangel Barrel. This is nice because it gives you damage range, gives you bullet velocity, gives you recoil control, and it only takes away ADS speed and movement speed. But what's really nice about this barrel is the iron sight it gives you. That is beautiful. It's a beautiful iron sight. The next one is going to be the Laser Tac Laser. So you get that ADS speed you get that aiming stability and you get that aim walking steadiness which is really nice and here is the one that I said is optional if you're playing multiplayer throw on the stock no stock so you can get movement speed and ADS speed advantage which really helps you guys out a lot but if you're playing warzone go ahead and don't throw on a stock whatsoever put on the muzzle monolithic suppressor so you could get that sound suppression and that damage ranger really helps out a lot there the under barrel is going to be the ranger foregrip you want recoil control which is really nice and aiming stability so this gun is just pretty stable you're shooting those shots you're hitting those shots and it feels like an absolute laser and the rear grip is going to be the xrk void 2 which is again the stippled grip tape with a fancy name that gives you ads speed and sprint fire speed so that is it man hope you guys enjoyed this video drop a like if you did and let me know down in the comments your best weapon and again guys if you like that benq monitor go check it out i'll link it down in the description below subscribe to the channel if you guys are around here with those notifications turned on thank you for watching my name is nick and i'll catch you in the next one. Peace.